All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Light Painting Brushes Live. And um, tonight, I am super excited. Uh, I got 20 Cent Light from France. Um, he, he's he been a huge inspiration to me. Just I, I, I He's one of my top light painters in the world. I mean, I absolutely love his work. So um, to have the opportunity to sit down with him and and talk about his work um, here with everyone, I, I'm, I'm really honored and I'm excited to have you. So 20 Cent Light, uh, Vincent from France, thank you so much for being here. Um, please introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Well, uh, my name is pronounced uh, Vincent in French. Um, I'm a scientist. Uh, I got a PhD in electrochemistry and uh, I do uh, science work during the daylight <laughs> and during the night. I practice light painting. <laughs> All right. Well, you're you're very good at it for sure. So I, I just really enjoy your work. So again, thank you so much for being here. Um, how how long have you been light painting, and and how did you discover light painting? Um, I discovered this few years ago. Uh, I think I practice it uh, with more. Um, uh, <laughs> passion if i could say like this uh since six years right now okay but i knew it um before that but it was not i don't know not, i wasn't interested back in the time uh, i just fell in and then uh, <laughs> i just decided to 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 dig <laughs> okay um ha uh, what what is your favorite part about light painting um do you, do you have something in particular that just draws you to it and um, with with your work, um, I consider myself as a bad photographer <laughs> because um, for me, a photographer just um, capture uh, a, a good image with a good light. And the thing is, uh, I don't know how to do it. But what I I love to do is to create light. So being in the dark and using light to make. My, my own stuff and, and having colors that could not be done with daylight, for example, it's, uh, it's just so funny to, to, to do. And practicing with a uh, human being is also fun. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I, I, prefer, I prefer doing that um, uh, in opposite to, uh, to urbex uh, exploration, for example. Well, it, you know, it's funny because, uh, you know, when you said practicing on human, you know, that that's a big element of your work. Um, give me a second. Let me pull up. Uh, let's pull up your your page here. Um, so, again, this is your your Instagram here. Now, a lot of the people that we see in here, um, you, you know, who are these people? Are are these models? Are they friends? Are they um, um, different types of projects that you work on? Um, you know, who who are the people that you work with? exactly what you just mentioned friends models um uh, random person who just want to to have these kind of pictures um usually I, I use a social network to uh discuss with with people to um, um maybe create a new project together or uh, continue one uh, ongoing uh, if i if i want to uh, to do a a series for example so um, at the beginning, I was just playing with my friends. And once I, <laughs> I consume everyone, <laughs> I decided to open to, to random person and models. Is, is this a studio in your, uh, in your, your residence or, or where, where are these taken at? Uh, I, I have a personal studio at home. Yeah. Um. I, I have a question for you. I, I've got to ask this because, um, you know, the fiber optic um, is one of my favorite tools. I love the light painting brushes, fiber optics. They're just, they're amazing. Exactly. How, how do you hold the tool? Like, what, what is your preferred method? You know, for me, I like to take my my two fingers there and, and kind of smash it down so it's flat. And that's uh, that's typically through an entire exposure how how I hold it. What, what, what kind um, of way do you hold it? I'm using both of my hands with my right i grab like this and then i do a large a large uh, brush like this wow okay 
this allows me to uh, to brush uh, a large uh, large position right on a human body um, to avoid going another time because if you go back you have more chance to to record a movement and to have two eye uh, a double eyes a double nose and this is disgraceful so usually i, I do one pass so i need it to be uh, large enough to uh, to perform it okay so for this i just i just do like this so gotcha okay um i've taken um like a um like a hamper um you know you can you can hang your clothes out and actually clip it right there and it, it will it will stay just just in that form um just to yeah. keep it and you know the cable but I like I like to control it right because you, you you can you can do a slight movement like this okay if you want and create uh shapes if you don't want to have uh, lines and you want something like lightning you know like like the like the thunder you you can create it like this by by moving a little bit, gotcha. so I could, but I prefer control. That I mean, that nothing wrong with that. Um, what camera gear do you use uh, for your for your beautiful work? Um, what, what kind of camera are you shooting on? Uh, I'm shooting with a Canon uh, 5D Mark IV, and I got a, a huge baby, which yeah. is a, a Sigma Art. 2470 that's that's what i shoot on i love i love that lens i have the uh uh 24105 and the 2470 they're both uh fantax lenses and i'm so great. happy to do light painting because this is so heavy <laughs> <laughs> right yes <laughs> i really don't want to take pictures like this no no definitely not um it, it's obvious you know in your work uh fiber optics is a huge part of it um is there any other light painting brushes tools that that uh, you've played around with that, that you like? Um, usually I select my tools according to uh, the scene I want to, to, to make. Um, I, I feel that um, the brushes uh, are very uh, accurate for, for people because the, the size of the light uh, is in the same size of a human body. You can, you can feel everything. I will not use this if I if I do um, landscape or uh, urbex, for example. And um, I have wires that I love to use. Also, this creates some kind of a foggy effect. Um, I have the plexiglass with uh, a lot of shapes, round uh, spikes. But I, I'm not really good with this, so usually the pictures are not shown. <laughs> I need I need more, more practice to uh, to uh, to master this. Uh, but I, I have I have all of them. Usually it's uh, it's like uh, it's like my toy. <laughs> I'm right. just a big kid with this. And um, when I do a good picture, I I show it. If not, I I keep it for myself. Nice. Hey, you know what? I, I just noticed something. So I've uh, I've known Jason for for quite a while, uh, many years, and I, I've I've noticed you two have something in common. <laughs> uh, you, you keep saying, um, you know, I'm really not good at this. I really don't do this. But man, you do beautiful work. J Mr. Page is the same way. He'll he'll uh, <laughs> he'll say, oh, this, this image is horrible. I shouldn't have done that. And I can't do this or do that. And he, he just creates this masterpiece. So, and you do the exact same thing. You, you create this masterful work, um, you know, and you sit here and you say, it's just funny to hear, you know, I'm really not good at it when both of you are amazing. So uh, just, just something I picked up on you both have in common right there. Because maybe we, we both think about uh, improving ourselves every time. <laughs> right. If you, if you consider that you are the best, uh, you will definitely not evolve. Absolutely. That, that is a fantastic way of looking at it for sure. Um, hey, Jace, yeah. Can I ask a question real quick? Just um, Vincent, as far as like when you're working with the model, how mm -hmm. much does the model participate in what the image is going to look like as a, are, who's are, obviously you're mostly directing it because you know, the light painting, but how much does the model participate in what they want the image to be? 
It, it depends. Um, sometimes the person has um, a sharp idea about uh, an, ima an image that is targeted for the for the project, or a feeling wanted to uh, to 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 do warm colors or cold colors. And um, after that, after a long discussion with the person, uh, usually we take more time to discuss than we should. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because uh, being a model in light painting is really hard. So I try to be uh, really fast. Usually my pictures are between 10 seconds and uh, one minute maximum. And um, uh, usually after this long discussion, we just select the colors. But, so I just have, as you do, I think, uh, small gels and um, we, we we gear up, we go to uh, to the shooting, and uh, we 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 practice. We do multiple pictures until we have the one we we like. And sometimes uh, we we go in another direction because we do not like it. Sometimes you have the idea, but when you do it, you don't feel the colors. You don't feel the models. You you feel that you need to go in another direction. And then you 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 take this way. So. It's a kind of uh, learning process, and uh, most of it is um, improvisation. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, let me uh, let me screen share here for our next question. Um, give me one second. All right, so you know, with that, you know, what what um your name 20 cent light um how, how did that come about like well what is uh what, what are we looking at right here can you break this down for us yeah this comes from a, a joke between friends <laughs> uh because my my name uh is pronounced vincent in in french and vin is the number 20 and sound could be sent so we just decided to what about 20 cent for your name <laughs> It was so funny that we 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 go for it. I did it. I decided to go for it, and and then I I created my signature um, hidden in my pictures uh, with a, a binary uh, language. That yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Binary, yeah, yep, yeah. That's that's so neat. Um, it, it's it's always fascinating to see how people come up with different kind of names. Um, and and I think. Yours is pretty unique, and it relates to your your field of, of, of work that you're in. And um, it, I love the thought process there. So it was uh, very intriguing. It's the the cheap version of uh, fifty cents. <laughs> All right, gotcha. Um, I'm I'm really excited about this next question for you. Um, so the the last time that we had talked, you had mentioned mapping um, for showcasing your beautiful work. Um, it's just so exciting and what you showed me was so intriguing and I want to play something real quick and um, just to show everybody what we're talking about. And then if you can go in and just uh, just describe it and, and let us know what we're looking at here. Um, so let me let me play this real quick. So the image that I have just right here, uh, I made this guy whose name is uh, Gamma Delta Visuals. Uh, this guy uh, creates glitch art, uh, visual glitch art. And uh, he asked me if I can give to him the, the pictures, this picture. He took it and he decided to, to change the colors, to move everything and just project the same image on the same picture. So unfortunately tonight, I cannot do it right now. Uh, but when you see it in a real gallery, you, you feel that you are so high, like, oh my God, did someone put LSD in my glass? <laughs> because this is moving, this is changing colors. And uh, you, you, can, you can see, you can, you can almost feel that everything is, is moving. It's impressive. It, it really is. I mean, it's a fascinating way of just, um, you know, you see these apps on phones that uh, 3D render um, light paintings and, and, and add motion to still Im imagery. Um, so to actually implement that 
and you know without te- without a, like a phone or anything and i could just imagine being embraced in that environment and just uh in a in a gallery and seeing this light painting just alive on the wall like this um, exactly super super cool and and i would i would absolutely love to see this in person the the thing is um i'm i'm creating this with this kind of artist and also other kind of artists i i love to uh, mix light painting with painting for example i i think there is a lot of connection and um I wanted to create, so th- this will be for my my, ne- my next uh, exhibition. And I wanted to create uh, an exhibition completely in the dark in which the image is just bright. Because when you do light painting, you are in the dark and you bright something, you bright a person or a, a scene. And I wanted for the audience to to feel the same way that they are in the dark and they are seeing colors coming out from the dark. And for example, for for this one, um, we also did some uh, beautiful stuff with my uh, uh, a friend of mine uh, whose name is uh, Guillaume Smash, who's a tattoo artist. And he's doing screen printing. And uh, we love to, to hide uh, messages in uh, images. And I don't know if Maybe I will move this. But there is invisible. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> that is just so cool, man. Just, oh. What am I looking at? <laughs> what was that? What? Yes. Jay, pull, Jay, pull, it's like pull life it. and death, you know, the, the card. Wow. And with a UV light, you can show it. So it's hidden. That's got to be one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen. <laughs> Absolutely. So we are creating wow. stuff right now with uh, with other artwork. You, you and- know what? One thing that I, I absolutely love about this and that's so grabbing about it is um, so it's not just it's like taking a light, the the light painting art form and you're intermixing and intertwining it into, into other genres, you know, other people that are creative and other people that have ideas and and integrating those two together and creating something that is just so beautiful and, and is so unique. And it, it's just it's awesome. You know, like it's it really is some cool stuff, man. Thank you. The the it, thing I like is is making other person discover something new. Light painting for most of the person uh, is new, but when you go further, right. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> they just have their 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 mind blowing. You know? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. That just happened to me. That just happened to me. <laughs> he got me. I was like, "What am I seeing right there?" Wow. And you should see in the dark completely because it brights, really. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I, I love it. It's just, is it just, no, I shouldn't say just, is it a screen print over the print itself? Yeah. We used uh, invisible ink. Okay. And uh, the screen printing process, maybe you know it. It's, uh, it's on a, uh, some kind of a canva. And uh, you, yes, mm-hmm. you, you you do it, and then you you have the ink going on the other side, wow. and you 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 print on it. That that is so cool and mind blowing, man. I love it. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's hard to go from here. I mean, because that's just so <laughs> cool, man. It just I see that and it just blows my mind. Um, you know what what would you tell someone? who is just starting out light painting, um, what, what kind of words of advice would you give or, or, you know, somebody that wants to explore this art form? Um, what would you tell them? Just light painting or light painting with models? Um, just, just in general, you know, somebody that says, Hey, I would like to, uh, explore and do some of the work that you're doing. You know, uh, can, can you give me any kind of pointer pointers? To practice a lot. <laughs> yes. Um, Nothing 
comes from nothing. You, if if you do not practice, uh, you won't be able to reach uh, the results you want. Um, you need to control the the intensity of the lights, the colors you want, the mix of the colors, uh, the sharp, the blurry, what you want on the image. And uh, if you go from this to modeling pictures, for example, it's even uh, another level because you, you have to consider that you are uh, taking a picture of a human being. So you have to consider the person and to be respectful. And uh, I, I, I love to be fast, to not let the person in a difficult position uh, that, uh, can, that can hurt. So think about a lot of... Uh, uh, a lot of th things around just to, to make sure that uh, the, the shooting is a good experience for you and for the person. If you do not enjoy it, don't go for it. You know, I'm, I, I'm going back. I'm going back. I've got a question for you. So is it, in, and I don't even know if this is a possibility. It was just something that popped in, into my head. Um, so let's say you're displaying this image in in a in a gallery. Is there a way to um, and, and then again, I might not know necessarily how UV UV light works, but if you were to put on a pair of glasses and see a completely different image, um, so you get you get the experience of of seeing one single art piece um, in two different um, dimensions. You know, like you put on these glasses and you you see this whole transparent um, image. Um, I was thinking about something similar but different. Um, I think you can you, you can um, use glasses to see different uh, part of uh, the same image. For example, there is glasses with, with you know blue and red. And if you are playing with this, you can you can have two images. And you can see uh, one of those by using the, the blue uh, glasses or the red glasses. There is this artist, uh, a street artist named Insane51. Go to see his work. He's doing huge uh, street art with blue and red colors. And uh, when you when you look at the, his art with the, this, uh, this kind of um, uh, glasses, uh, you can see two different images. So this could be done uh, with the light painting also. Uh, I am thinking about, uh, about something similar. Um, I don't know how it will, it will be at the end. Uh, it's still in process. Well, I can tell you one thing, man, just you, you're definitely setting the bar somewhere um, in, in a completely new, fascinating direction. Um, and I, I am really excited to see where it goes and what develops from it. Um, and I just hats off to you and everybody else that's contributing um, to, to having the success with, with art like this. So um, really some good stuff, man. Thank you so much. Uh, let, me, let me screen share here. I want to, I found a video on your website. Just wanted to play that. Um, I thought it was pretty neat. Give me one second here. Yeah, your little, uh, I'm going to play your little teaser video you, you have. I thought this was pretty neat. So let's watch this for a second. This is my place. My playing ground. <laughs> so sometimes I love to, uh, to mix a studio photo with light painting using flash. But always with uh, colors. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I watched that earlier, man. I was like, whoa, this is cool. Cause I, I've got a, 
uh, a nice sound system down here in my studio, and I was just like blown away <laughs> with the beat, and the, it just, uh, man, it just builds you up, and it's so cool. So, um, y- your website is beautiful, man. Uh, the the layout is just uh, um, really really cool. So I encourage people to go to Twenty Cent Light um dot com and and check out his website he's got uh, uh lots of different stuff here his studio work you can click through and um if you want to look at portraits and stuff like that but I, I just love the flow of your website it's just beautiful great great website um with that you know how how do people um uh, follow you um what what's the best way to keep in contact and um you know keep up with the work that you're creating um, usually it's Instagram. Uh, I need to update my, my website. Uh, it's been a while since I've not uh, updated uh, it. Uh, but on Instagram, um, I post at least once a week uh, new new images. So if you want to, to see the, the last one, it, it will be for sure on Instagram. Okay. I do have a question. Uh, when I was looking through your website, um, I came ac- across these multi exposures. Um, yeah. these are beautiful, man. This is just. Uh, are these uh, are these in camera or or what 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 type of uh, double exposure are you doing here? So when I just discovered this kind of tool, um, I did not want it to just take pictures. I just I wanted to know what kind of uh, uh, hardware. I have inside and there is a multi exposure function inside in which you can take one picture and another one or even nine pictures if you like so um i decided to um to do collaboration with uh, painters so uh, i took a pictures uh, of their art and then we uh, double expose uh, exposure uh, with a, a face or a body and for for those one, I just decided to take um, three images of the NASA uh, and Nebula, and uh, I wanted to to make um, a mix of uh, of uh, people and uh, and the stars. <laughs> you know, it, it's funny. Um, I love multi exposure, and and it's it's that there's a fine line there you know just some light painters are just like you know just it it creates so much debate you know but as olympus has advanced more in uh live composite it's been brought to the format of you know people being more accepted of it um but you know jason hits on something all the time you know the camera is nothing more than a tool and using that tool and and creating these um these art pieces um that's what it is you're you're just you're creating art um from using the tool as a as a camera um you know and as long as it's not something that's you know photoshop manipulated i th- i think it it needs to be brought more often into the forefront as as an acceptable form of of light painting um it's beautiful it's a great technique and um just beautiful work man i just wanted to it that that folder grabbed me and I pre you know appreciate work like this so I wanted to to talk to you about that. Thank you, thank you. I, um, I love. I just want to say real quick, I absolutely love how you're collaborating with all these other people and only introducing them to light painting, but also just incorporating their work into your work. And it's really it's something special, man. I I I was a huge fan of your work, and you know that I've told you probably many times, but you know it's uh. I didn't know about the collaborations and all these other things. And it's so awesome that you're doing that, man. I really appreciate that. It's amazing and beautiful. And I love it even more. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, th- those ones you you are just uh, watching are uh, straight out of camera. <laughs> like like using a projector, like projecting that. Yeah. We reproject uh, an image here. The person is not moving. And then we turn off the light and then we, I do the light. Well, anyway, um, I, I love to collaborate with others because I, I don't feel that I have all of the ideas. Uh, I don't. I do not pretend to, to be the best and definitely not the best. And um, talking with others makes uh, more possibilities. Two brains is twice uh, efficient. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Well, my friend, thank you so much. No, seriously, seriously, this is just, it's, it's, tr it's tremendous just uh, um, what you're doing and, and being um, such an influence to me in, in, in my work. I've been a huge fan of you for, for a long time. So um, like I said, I'm just, I'm, I'm honored to have you here and have the opportunity to sit down and, uh, and talk with you. Um, and I wish you the, the best of luck, especially with the, the mapping projects and the ideas and the things that you're doing. So, so keep up the amazing work and thank you so much for being here this evening. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here with you guys. Absolutely. All right. Thank, thank you. Man. you. See you.